Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another episode of Uncle Amu's Raz's Ramadan Reminders. Amu Raz's Ramadan Reminders. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. Nice to see everyone again. How are you guys doing? It's been almost a year, a year, a whole year since the last Ramadan. Subhanallah, how time flies. And I guess for most of us, we've been in lockdown, in and out, in and out. It just feels like one long day, doesn't it? But I am back. Amu Raz is back, inshallah, for a couple of nice reminders for all of you. And I hope you have fun. I hope you understand them. I hope you learn from them as well. I, while teaching you guys and while narrating these stories to you guys, and just tune in and, and, and relax for the ride with Amu Raz. Okay, so what's the first story? Well, today's story is called The Donkey in the Hole. Hmm, The Donkey in the Hole. What is this about? Well, there was a farmer a couple of years ago, a long, long time ago even, and he had a donkey. And now if you know farmers, farmers need their animals to work, right? They really need their animals to help around the farm, to, to you know, to, to pull like heavy objects and to help with the day-to-day -day activities. So this farmer really relied on this donkey and this donkey was his prized possession. Then one day, the farmer, while walking with the donkey, wasn't really paying attention. And all of a sudden, the donkey disappeared. And he looked around and he said, w -w where's the donkey? And he found that the donkey actually fell into a deep hole. And he started panicking. He's like, oh my God, my donkey. That this is the one animal I always rely on. And when he looked down, he saw the donkey was in the hole and it just couldn't get out. So what did the farmer do? The farmer tried. He's trying to, he's trying to take the donkey out. Come on, donkey. No luck. The donkey was stuck in the deep hole and no matter what the farmer did, the donkey would not come out. It was too heavy and the, the hole was too deep. And the farmer was absolutely devastated. He was so upset, he was crying. He was in tears. This was his, his best friend because he lived alone in the, in the farm and this donkey would help him with everything. And so he was upset, he was crying. He was crying so much, he was making dua. He started praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah help me, help me, help me. He used to uh, increase his salah and he, you know, he used to walk loads of miles to the nearest river to do wudu and pray. And he'd do that every day, every so often. But slowly, time went on and the donkey was still stuck. What did he do? He used to go visit the donkey and throw grass down the hole so that the donkey could survive. And he kept doing this, but eventually he knew he couldn't continue this because the poor donkey is stuck there. What sort of life is that for the donkey? So the farmer had no choice but to make dua over and over and over again, asking Allah for help. And he prayed every single day. He had faith in Allah. He tried and he tried, but he couldn't get the donkey out. What will he do now? Unfortunately, he decided this is it. There's no way the donkey's going to survive this. He got his big spade, his big shovel, and he went next to the hole and he started taking the dirt and he thought, I'm going to dig this donkey alive to save the donkey from all the pain and the loneliness and the difficulty that the donkey's going to be in because he can't survive there. So he thought he's going to just, just kill the donkey by burying him alive. So he caught a shovel and he started slowly throwing in the dirt on top of the donkey. And every time he threw the dirt on top of the donkey, the donkey would shake his head like this, right? he shake his head and the dirt would fall to the ground. And every time he do it, he'd do that. And when he fell to the ground, the donkey would step on it. And then the farmer took another shovel and threw more dirt into the, into the ground. What did the donkey do? He'd shake his head and then he'd step on it. And then slowly the dirt kept building. And you know what happened? The donkey kept stepping on it and on it and on it. Eventually, there was so much dirt in the ground that the donkey was able to climb out. SubhanAllah, the donkey actually survived. What can we learn from this? What can we learn from this really horrible situation? The donkey was in a situation where it was going to die and the farmer had given up, but he prayed to Allah. He prayed to Allah and he trusted Allah. And even in a bad situation, sometimes we think we are, you know, 
we're going to suffer, this is going to be the end, and we're down and, and we're upset about it. But actually, through the dirt that was being thrown on the donkey, he thought he's going to die. But actually, he realized, actually, the dirt that's falling on me, I can, I can, you know, push it to the side, step on it, and I can start slowly climbing out of this hole. So sometimes in life, when it looks like lots of things are happening to you, and you're upset, and you're sad, and Allah is throwing so many different tests at you, sometimes these are ways for us to step out of the hole that we are in and emerge victorious, emerge happy, emerge successful. So don't worry if you are ever sad or if things happen to you that you, you ask to yourself, why is this happening to me? These are tests from Allah. These are challenges. And though we think that these are going to destroy us, these tests that Allah throws at us are going to be bad for us, maybe they make us stronger. Maybe they will help us get better and get out of the holes that we find ourselves in. So never lose hope and never lose faith. This is what we can learn from the story. Until next time, this is Amu Raz. Pray for me in your Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. Inshallah, until next week. Asalaamu Alaikum.